After Mike Young left Wofford College, there was a void that some weren't sure could be filled. But the Terriers then hired assistant coach Jay McCauley to take the lead for the program. Coach Young said that on the day he was introduced at his new school, Virginia Tech, that he's finally home. But for Jay McCauley, the court is home, and he's giddy at the chance to be the head coach for the Terriers. Yeah, I'm having the time of my life, uh, mainly because I'm around good people. You know, Wofford, like, supports their athletics. They support their teams, their student athletes. I'm around guys that want to be in the gym, that are tough, that want to be good ball players. I'm around good staff that's smart and that pours a lot into these guys. So I'm having a great time. And that makes our culture unique, I think, and that's what hangs banners for us at the end of the day as we enjoy the process. For the Terriers, the transition seemed seamless. Coach McCauley was an assistant for two years before being named the top guy. He's brought in some of his own staff, too, and for the players living through the changes, it wasn't anything they couldn't handle. Oh, Coach McCauley is great. You know, we, we all love him to death. And we knew, it would helped out a lot was he was here last year, so we got a, a good taste of him you know, to see what he was like already. But his style and everything, we love it. It's a lot faster. You know, defense, pretty much the same way. And, every, and offensively, we added new things with his, uh, his style and stuff, but it's, it's been, it hasn't been hard at all to be able to adjust to, his, to how he plays. For the team and help that McCauley had been with the Terriers before, he knew their culture and he wants to keep growing the program. I think Coach McCauley knows what he's doing. Obviously, I mean, he's got us to where we're at right now, and I think I believe in him more than anybody else that he can still keep us going and get us to where we need to go to. The Terriers are now in the bulk of their SoCon schedule, and there's only one thing on their minds, to get to the NCAA tournament. For Fox Carolina Sports, I'm Amanda Keene.